Hey guys, in this video we're doing a complete workshop makeover with some fresh paint and a reorganizing of everything in here, so stick around. Alright everybody, it is time to paint this shop and it should have been something I did originally but the plan was never to be in this space this long. So. Trying to just make it look cleaner, trying to make it uh, just more professional. I work on a, on a larger scale than it probably appears that I do in this little space. So until I can get a larger space or things change or whatever, just uh, I, need to, I need to dress this place up just a little bit more. Um, another big concern is the lighting. Obviously we're doing filming in here and I sometimes use my cell phone to do some uh, more detailed shots or whatever or just whatever's convenient. And there is a big color difference between what's shown on my phone and what's shown on the GoPro, which is the other thing I film on. So trying to make something look a little bit more pleasing on camera as well. So what I'm going to do is I have a uh, primer and I have a color. Color is going to be like a gray, so maybe something a little, little lighter than my hoodie here. And I think that'll look good. going to just start working in the corners. This is going to be kind of like uh, do what I can when I can. So hopefully over the next week, I can have this place painted. So Now to show you kind of what the difference is as far as color, I got my phone here. We're going to do two shots side by side. And you can kind of see exactly what the color difference is. I do like using my phone for all those detail shots, as I said. But... You know, they need to look consistent to each other. The phone has a lot, a, a lot warmer of a hue. It is looking way better in here already. So I have this entire section painted. Try to get as much up top as I could, and that is just because my. Uh, cabinet hanger rack here I wanted to paint as well get that hung back up and allow me to start putting some stuff back where it needs to be so as of now I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling that corner again and uh, start putting some stuff away because it is a freaking disaster in here so, ugh. time to clean up Some of the most excellent investments or things you can do to the shop. These torch holders are awesome.
freaking bad. Really like the orange over the gray. Of course, it's kind of like my colors. So my goal today was to get this wall done. That way I can move the bench back and I can also put this cabinet back up there. Um, overall looking really good. So next order of business, go eat lunch, let this dry, and then we'll see if I can start working on this wall. I will at least get everything down off the wall and uh, probably paint my metal rack, bought some more uh, regular spray paint, and maybe we'll start cutting in. So yeah, it's gonna start looking really different. Um, in case I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm just using like a Kills oil-based for the primer. And uh, beyond that, I just have a Valspar, like a uh, signature thing, I, I don't know. And also, I'm not usually one for gimmicks, but I saw this little pour spout, had to have it. it actually works pretty good. Kind of hard to get on the bucket, but it does work. So, very satisfied so far, but also I still hate painting. A wall has been painted. I don't know how I can expand upon what I've been doing in here because I've just been doing the same thing. Getting a little stir crazy. <sighs> Might be the paint fumes. Probably the paint fumes. Yeah. Okay. On a serious note, it's looking super good in here. I'm like pretty dang happy about it. This gray was a good idea. I just, I feel like the color in here already, who knows if it's coming through on camera, but I feel like the color in here is just like, just cleaner. Like a softer, a softer light, so to speak, but um, I don't know, the white is more white. There's not as much of the, the wood color, like the red hue that I've had a problem with. But of course, that could just be the placebo effect and as as on top of the paint fumes. Let's not forget the paint fumes. Whew. Anyway, <laughs> tomorrow's gonna be fun. I painted my metal racks in orange just to match everything else. I'll hang those back up. We'll reassemble this side of the this side of the shop and then kind of see what kind of trouble we can get into after that. So I have a feeling I'll probably wanna go ahead and paint this on the underside and then maybe do as much as I can up in that front. But uh, yeah. So as far as paint consumption goes, um, as far as the primer, I've used almost two gallons. Let's see. Yeah, probably like a gallon and two thirds as far as primer. Now I still have to do the back wall and the underside of all of the uh, structures there. And then of course the ceiling. So, I mean, that's not gonna last me but I've only just finished off one gallon of the actual gray. It's, it's lasted a long time. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I should be able to get this place done with, I mean, no problem, like one more gallon of each. And we should be set. I'm pretty excited about it.
progress is being made. Today, I hope it's the last day for painting this shop. So I've resupplied and as of last night, I have the upper section here primed. Kind of tricky because I had to climb up there. Along with, uh, probably not gonna be able to see it, but up here as well, all the way across, I have that primed. And I am ready for paint. So, or a color, I should say, I'm ready for color. So pretty excited about that section because I can stand here and that is kind of an eyesore. That's the only section that doesn't match. So once that's painted, it will look very complete in here. And then of course, you know, I'm gonna do behind me, but you know, we're gonna get it knocked out today. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to have this done. It just, it's taken me a while because I have to just move stuff and paint that section, move it back, clean, you know, it's, it's, it's a process, but we're getting there. So anyway, let's uh, stir some paint, slap it on the, slap it on the ceiling. looking good but now I think it's looking really good with everything just vanishes back there it's just dark it disappears you know the wiring for the lights I'm sure this video is terrible because I'm shining the camera at the lights but you get the idea all the conduit that runs to the lights just gone Every, I know I could have done black and stuff but that's just another more time-consuming thing but with the, with the gray I chose everything's vanishing so uh, all of that's done, all of above the middle section is done, and now basically I just have the last four feet of the entire shop and we're done. So um, everything's drying right now, I'm going to go take a quick break, quick breather, and then I will start packing stuff back up over there and then start unpacking, unpacking this section. We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll knock it out. We're so close today though and uh, I need to get this done so I can get back to work. Whew. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling really good. surfaces in here have been painted finally. So it's the day after Christmas and the goal today is to put the shop back together. I'm gonna go grab a bike that you haven't seen in a long time and we're gonna start shooting some more videos in here and getting back to work because 
we have a lot going on we have a lot of changes coming up and this needs to be a functioning workshop ASAP so let's get this thing back together and see how it looks look at it it's glorious it looks so good in here I am super happy and next I want to take you guys through and showcase some of the things I've done because if you notice it is a little bit different in here beyond the paint I have reorganized this place a little bit and I've modified some stuff to help with that organization. So let's take a stroll and I'll show exactly what I've done. We'll just start back here because we're just starting back here. So the totes have not really changed. I have replaced them. So the ones that I'm using the most, like let's say these two are gonna be the easiest to grab in that area where my box over there is gonna be a little bit more out of the way, a little harder to get to. And then some of the other quick, you know, Quick use stuff over here, easy to grab, easy to reach. That's all gonna be right where it needs to be. And then in the center, maybe stuff that either like the toolbox, you know, comes out a certain way so it can clear the heater or the other toolbox, you know, stuff that's easier to get around that particular section. Down below, you'll notice this is where a few big changes have happened. So the drill press, I did have it over here and it was really annoying 100% of the time because it extended out further than these cabinets. The drill press probably sat about right here and it just made it really annoying. I'd have to like reach over the drill press to get into my, my cabinets here. So the overall plan or the uh, upcoming plan is to put a mini lathe right here. So I have a, a rolling tool cabinet picked out that I'm gonna put right there. And we're gonna probably build something different for all this right here. This is kind of just I don't know, temporary, it was in the corner, but I need to figure this, I need to figure these items out as far as where to store them. So back over here though, drill press is now under this overhang. And I, when I drew this up originally, when I, when I was putting the shed together, I think I made this beam tall enough to fit over the top of the drill press. So it kind of made sense that it fit there. You can see there's no overhang. There's plenty of light, so it fits. And then now the trash can, which I usually have sitting under the drill press, is moved. Hardest thing to get used to, because I keep wanting to go over here to go throw stuff away. So one thing I just finished up that I absolutely love is my solvent tank here. I just went ahead and made a nice roll cart for it. So now I can just move it around as I need. I put another little shelf down there, so that's holding Oh, like some drip trays and funnels and whatnot. So that gave me another shelf for, you know, more stuff to hide. And that pairs well with the uh, soda blaster, which I also have made a cart for. And that's holding some other uh, more heavy stuff like my tubing bender and uh, things like that. So that's a really cool thing. And I think this is a great use of this space over here. Beyond that, nothing's really changed. As far as the workbench is concerned, you'll notice my refrigerator is now down here. It was in the corner over there, but I need, this was kind of a, a weird space and I just measured it out and the refrigerator fits. Now the door already swings this way. So it, you know, it's big, it opens enough to get a bottle of water out of, that's fine, whatever. But I did have to run a power cord over there because it wasn't long enough, which I did not want to do. I don't like extra cords hanging around over the place. But in true BJ English style, Went ahead and put some uh, some cable, some P-clamps and just kind of have it tied to the wall. Made it real, real clean, real sanitary. Nothing has changed on the bench. If you guys are wondering, this is actually a kitchen countertop, eight foot long. And this is, I built the entire box, surround, cyst, I, I built all of this. It was a really awesome project. Then I have my receiver hitch that I put my, uh, my vise and my tubing bender and stuff like that. That mounts within my receiver over here. Again, this is gonna be the kind of uh, evolution area. So move my ultrasonic cleaner and just, we're gonna figure this space out, but the uh, cabinet that I have picked out will hopefully hide some more items. And uh, yeah, maybe we can uh, make a better system over here. But the fact that I actually, I can, I, I can walk up to the wall here. I actually have a little wall space now. That's, that's a new thing. Usually it's always occupied. But overall, looking really good so let's try this again I want to do a uh, side by side video and see what the color difference is 
I can tell already that this is looking a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling really good about being in this workspace right now, doing a general reorganizing of everything, kind of moving some stuff around, making it more feng shui, and then of course, the coat of paint, it's just, it's looking like a whole new space right now. And I hope the color is coming through on camera because it just looks, just looks way better in here and more professional, which I really wanted to, uh, to kind of, I wanted that to come through to you guys. So even though this took me about a week to do, it was necessary because I do have some new projects coming up as well as bringing back some old projects that you haven't seen in a while to finally get finished up. So a lot of big changes coming, a lot of exciting stuff as I always talk about, but oh my gosh, stay tuned in the next month. You'll be, you'll be seeing some big news and we're making some big changes. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you want to see some more shop projects, you know, some stuff in here, I'll link a video right here. Go check that out. Check some other videos out on the channel. And uh, give me a follow on social media, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.